What's up guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nidal and today's analysis video is going to be about Malaysia Super League game between Johor and Selangor FC. Formation and lineups. So Selangor FC on paper will line up 4-1-3-2 formation but their formation on the ground was mostly 4-3-1-2 with Oli Zugan and Fikri in the front line behind them Oliver Buff as a number 10. While Johor on the other hand line up in their normal 4-3-3 formation with mostly 3-4-3 on the ball and 4-1-4-1 without the ball. Here what happened in the game. Here is the 4-3-1-2 with a passive mid block converted to low block. The wide midfielders first press Johor's wing back till the support arrive from the strikers. Fikri or Olizogan of course. Here how the team shift to the ball side as a unit. Here again the defensive system of Selangor FC. The whole team shift the ball side as you see almost 10 meter distance between the two lines. The defensive lines and the midfield lines. And here the support laid of Fikri which forced the team to play on that side. They always try to squeeze the team on one side. As you see here again the distance between the two lines is very narrow as much as possible and now the late support from Fikri to squeeze the team on that side over there. Now the same defensive approach but on the right side with Ole Zogan. With his late drop he forced Corbin on to play forward. He cut all the passing options to the center backs. So like that they forced them to play forward. The team applied the same defensive approach throughout the game even though the lineup changed. 3-1-2 with the four defensive players, four defenders. Here again see how the, the striker support and now the number 10 press the CDM. Now here animated sequence on how Selangor made their counter-attack very dangerous. This is the counter-attack approach after they regain the ball, how the team react and how the team use the passing pattern and the combination between the players in order to, get to score. Now we will move to what happened in the real game. Here they regain the ball. Once the team regain the ball, their first intention is to play as far as possible from the recuperation zone. Most of the counter-attacks launched from the right side where is the target player who is Olizogan. Now as you see, four players follow the counter-attack. As quick as possible, they need to reach the opponent half so they can hit them with a quick transition. Here again, once they regain the ball, they try to release Olizugan in the open space. He always try to, to drop deep to drag the to, to drag the center backs and to open the space for the upcoming midfielders from behind to make the overload centrally and to combine with the passes with them. Again the center back once he regained the ball he played forward and now the Fikri he got the ball, he got support from seven players, second second ball, surely for the seven players. Now one player on the right on the left side over there. He was a little bit slow. He could finish it with a shot, but he chose to to cross and then again the second ball because of because of the numerical superiority. Here again once they win the ball immediately find Olizugan the target man and he quickly gets the support from the midfielders. Look here the central overload with from two players as quick as possible they are always ahead of the of Johor midfielders. Here because of the bad decision making the team uh, miss out the opportunity to get the three points. Now regarding the attacking approach that the team applied is based on the positional exchange between Dio and Buff. Often Dio move wide on the flank to 
empty the space for the upcoming midfielders behind. It's almost the same principle, the same uh, method, same approach that they use for the counter-attack. But now when they have the ball, wh while they are building up, they also use the same thing. Now the team is trying to build up. As the game progressed, some periods in the game, Selangor FC took control of the game and they start to move up the pitch using short passes and the combination between the players. Elozogan is a key player when it comes to the attacking approach. He often moves away from the central backs and he plays himself between the lines widely, which made it difficult to mark him. He often gets the ball without pressure. He usually go in front of Corbinon and he drag him out of his position. As he, as you see here, Corbinon he's confused. He step out or not, thus allow Olizugan to receive freely without pressure. And also Oliver Buff he play crucial role, always to occupy Olizugan position as a number nine, so the team could always find someone as a number nine to rely on. Here again. Olizugan move away from the two center backs in order to receive in the open space between the lines. Always focus guys on the player who have the, hot, the, the spotlight. Watch how he move away. He moved to Corbinon position. Now again, Oliver Buff role was crucial to continue the build up uh, attack. He always moved to Olizugan position as I said earlier guys. He always tried to keep the two center backs in charge. Keep them busy and then again he receive wide and he try to combine. As you see Oliver Buff from position number 9 he try to, to release Brandon Gunn who make the overload centrally behind the defense opponent. Here again the team building up changing passes between these two center backs. As you see the communication from Brandon he, he told to uh, to Olizugan to move inside now to free Shami on the flank in order to receive. As you see now, Brandon Gunn, he, he made the run, forward run centrally, and then he score. He, he cross. Again, always focus on the player who, had, who has the, hot spo the spotlight. The sequence repeat again from central position now. He move away. And then again, Shami try to make the inside run behind the defense opponent. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Much more stuff coming down the road. Player profiles of play. Much analysis. Team's tactic. Stay tuned guys and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.